Hey, Rob here for QuadraTech.com. Today, I've got Tony's 392 back in the shop, as you can see, looking just a bit different than it did, well, before the weekend started. Tony wasted no time at all beginning his long list of modifications he has in store for his new Wrangler. One of the first things he swapped out were those factory wheels and tires for a new set of 20-inch Black Rhino Recon wheels, and he wrapped a set of 38 by 1350 Nitto Ridge Grapplers around those wheels. As you can see, you can fit a 38 inch tire on a stock Rubicon 392 with zero suspension modifications and absolutely no rubbing or clearance issues, well, at least for on-road use. Now with the increase in tire size, he needed to change something out to carry his spare. So he's installed a Terraflex Alpha HD spare tire bracket and third brake light relocation bracket back there. Also, when jumping from a 33 to a 38 inch tire with the increased ride height, well, we wanted to make it a little easier to get in and out of his new Jeep. So we installed a set of Rockslide Engineering step sliders. Now, finally up front, he ditched the end caps on that steel bumper to give it that great stubby bumper look, added a Mopar winch guard along with a worn Xeon Platinum 10S winch. Of course, had to modify that worn logo to match the gold accents found around the 392. And finally, finished off the front end with a Factor 55 Ultra Hook. Now, Tony has a lot more in store for this Wrangler, but we're not gonna be doing any of the modifications today. We're gonna be checking out what's inside all of these boxes here that came packed in the back of his new Wrangler. If you order the dual door group from the factory, this is just what you're gonna get here. Your Jeep is gonna show up at the dealership with the full doors installed and your half doors, along with the mirrors and all the uppers, packed into the back of your Wrangler. So the first thing we need to do today is to go ahead and get these full doors off the Jeep, and then we can start unpacking all of these boxes so I can walk you through step-by-step step what goes into assembling, installing, and aligning your new half doors on your brand new Wrangler. Now with our doors removed from the vehicle and our new half doors unpacked, we're ready to begin our install. If you're unsure of the steps on how to remove your full doors from your Wrangler or your Gladiator, you can click that info button to watch a video we put together a while back in 2018 when the Wrangler Jail was first released. Of course, when you're removing your doors from your vehicle, you're going to want somewhere safe and secure to store them. And that's where something like our door storage hanger or even our door storage cart is the perfect solution. Especially if you're going to have two sets of doors for your vehicle now, you're going to want somewhere to safely and securely store whatever door is not installed currently on your Wrangler. One of the first steps I did after removing the doors was to go ahead and reinstall the mechanical check strap bolts here into our door jam. Now our new factory half doors only rely on a webbing check strap like the older Jeep Wrangler TJs and JKs, not a mechanical check strap in addition to that fabric check strap like our full doors do. So by storing that bolt here in the door jam, we'll know exactly where it is when we're ready to reinstall our full doors onto your Wrangler or Gladiator later on down the road. Now I went ahead and unpacked our driver's side front door first. This box was labeled as having the instructions included. Now I've also got a few tools out here ready to go. One of the things I can say about factory Mopar instructions is, well, these things are really designed for the install techs at the dealership who have training on how to read these. They can be quite cryptic and hard to understand for the end user. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step what's involved in installing these. The other thing about these instructions is, well, they get updated quite often. In fact, the ones that come out of the box may be different or may have been updated since they were packed at the factory. I will say there are some interesting things that I saw when flipping through here. As of right now, at the time of filming this video, you can only order the dual door group for the Wrangler, not the Gladiator. However, these instructions, well, they list some very specific steps related specifically to the Gladiator. So I think that's good news for guys out there thinking about ordering a Gladiator very soon. Hopefully Jeep opens up that dual door group option for Gladiators in addition to the Wrangler, or maybe this is planning here for Jeep to release the doors as a Jeep performance part and after the fact accessory that you can purchase for your Wrangler or Gladiator that you already own. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside for now. Some of the tools that I have out are a nylon panel tool, an eight millimeter wrench, a three millimeter Allen wrench, as well as a torque wrench and a T50 Torx bit to go with that torque wrench. In addition to that, you're gonna want your Jeep toolkit that came with your vehicle, 
with the ratchet and the T50 Torx bit. Of course, that's what we use to go ahead and remove our full doors from the Jeep. And we're gonna be using this primarily for the install of our new half doors. The first thing we need to do is to go ahead and lift our door up, set it in place here on the body side hinges. With the door now on the vehicle, one of the first things I recommend you doing is to go ahead and connect that check strap to the body side of the vehicle. Of course, I'm working in a garage in a pretty controlled environment, but if you're outside in the elements, well, you'd hate to have a gust of wind come up, let this door get away from you, potentially scratch or damage either the body of your Wrangler Gladiator or your brand new half doors. So we can go ahead and start by unwrapping and removing that protective coating over the factory electrical connector. And then we can go ahead and install that check strap right there onto the hook inside of the fender well. At this point, it's also a good time to go ahead and make our electrical connection here inside of the driver's side footwell. Just like with that full door, just wanna go ahead and plug our new electrical connection in, being sure to fully seat that folding down the white latch and then you can slide that red locking tab back into place if you like but that's really not totally necessary. We can also go ahead and reinstall the plastic trim cover over top of our electrical connector at this point. Now because our new half doors are part of the dual door group package they're going to retain all the same factory options and features that were in place on your full doors. So if you have things like blind spot monitoring, proximity entry and power locks well they're all still going to be in place here on your factory half doors. Before you go and close your doors for the first time, we need to check a couple things as far as alignment goes. The first thing to be aware of is the location of the striker here in the door jam and the latch on the door. You want that striker to be right in the middle of that latch. As we're sitting right now, our door looks like it's a little low to the striker here in the jam. Now, it's very important we do not make any changes to the location of the door striker or the body side of the door hinges. Those are all aligned at the factory with your full doors. And if you make any changes to their location, your full doors are no longer gonna line up with the body of your Wrangler when you go to reinstall them down the road. It's very important that we only make changes here to the black unpainted T50 Torx bolts on the door side part of the hinge here on our new half doors. Before we do that, however, you are gonna wanna go ahead and reinstall your door hinge pin retaining nuts into both the upper and lower hinge. That's gonna give us a nice solid foundation to work off of so that this hinge doesn't move. Once we loosen these bolts, we can simply align that door, get a nice even gap all the way around and align that striker right in the middle of our door latch. Now the factory recommends that you tighten these hinge pin retaining nuts to about six foot pounds. So for me, finger tight with the Jeep Toolkit ratchet and T50 Torx bit is plenty. We don't need to get out our torque wrench for those nuts. Now at this point, we can start loosening these four black unpainted T50 Torx bolts so that we can begin aligning our door. Go ahead and just slightly loosen each bolt. Now once you have some movement here in the door, we may be able to go ahead and latch it. I like to loosen all four of them up. And now at this point, we can go ahead and make sure we've got that latch all the way closed. That's gonna center our door latch on the striker. Then we can adjust our gap all the way around to make sure we've got a nice even gap. And this is where it pays to take a little extra time, get a really nice alignment on your door. Make sure that you're happy with how everything lines up. All of our different body lines, like from our cowl to our half door, a nice even gap all the way around. Once you're happy with everything, we can go ahead and snug these back up.
Now we can go ahead and test out our door. Checking that we should be nice and centered. The striker in the latch there. Door opens and closes nicely. Now at this point, the factory recommends 21 foot pounds for these four bolts here on the hinges. So for this, I will recommend you grab yourself a torque wrench. Go ahead and set that to 21 foot pounds. And we'll just go ahead and make sure those are tightened. Go ahead and fold out your mirror. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and install our uppers. So we can grab a nylon panel tool or even your Jeep key, slide it right in here into this opening in the filler plug and lift up to pop that plug out of place. We also have one more right up here next to our mirror. I really like that Jeep has gone as far as including these nice plugs to give the door a very finished look when you remove your upper windows. You can just store these in the glove box or in the cargo area in the back when they're not in use. We're ready to go ahead and install our upper into our door here. Simply line up the two pegs with the holes in the door. And the first couple times you install these, they're going to be pretty tight. Might need to give them a nice little tap. Get everything to line up. And then again, just like we did with the half door, before you go and simply close the door, you want to double check that Everything looks like it's aligning properly. Close the door. And the next thing we can do is check our weather seal for the upper. Now Jeep recommends you use a good old dollar bill for this. And I'll simply close the bill in the seal. And if the bill does not easily come out when you tug on it, well then you know you've got a nice tight seal. You want to check this in a couple spots around the door. Make sure that you've got a nice tight seal. If that's looking good, the next step is to go ahead and open our window up. Grab a flashlight and we can also check for any light leaks around that weather seal. Now if that dollar bill Now if that dollar bill slips right out of the upper or if you see light coming through that seal, you do have some adjustment here in the uppers from the factory. This is a new feature that we've never seen in a half door before on a TJ or a JK. You pretty much had what you had with those old style uppers. Well now if we go ahead and remove the upper, we do have some adjustments we can make to get a tighter or looser fit with our upper. There's a three millimeter Allen head bolt and an eight millimeter nut. Go ahead and hold the bolt steady while loosening the nut with your wrench. Then by turning this bolt counterclockwise, it's gonna bring the upper part of our door tighter to the body of the Wrangler. By turning it clockwise, it's gonna pull the upper portion of our upper farther away to give us a looser fit. Now once you have the made a couple adjustments, go ahead and hold the bolt in place and re-tighten the nut and go ahead and recheck your fitment. You can go ahead, reinstall that upper into the half door. And then you'll just want to come back and verify again with that dollar bill that you've got a nice tight weatherproof seal. At this point, we can go ahead and repeat the same basic procedures to get our rear door installed.
Now, if you're still having any trouble getting your uppers aligned after making those adjustments to the posts, well, Jeep does give you one other option. They give you these small shims that have some double-sided tape on them that you can install by putting them on the end of a pencil and then dropping them right down and sticking them to the bottom of those door slots. I think there's one more change we can make here to complete the look of our half doors. We can go ahead and remove the rear quarter window available with that one touch power top option. And with that, I think these new factory half doors look absolutely phenomenal on Tony's Rubicon 392. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions at all about the dual door group option or how to get your new doors installed and aligned on your Wrangler or your Gladiator, you can always leave those for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. Of course, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon so you be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get those passenger doors installed so I have time to take this thing out for a little ride before Tony comes to pick it up.